angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. So here we're being asked to find the size of angle X and X and 127 make a straight line. So X and 127 have to add up to 180 degrees. So if we do 180, take away 127, we will find out what angle X is. So 180, take away 127. We can't, we don't want to do zero take away seven. So we'll take one of the tens off and that'll be worth 10 in the ones. So 10 take away seven is three. Seven take away two is five. And one take away one is nothing. So we've got 53 left. So X is 53 degrees. 53 and 127 add up to 180. Okay, one for you to try. So find the size of angle X. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if we do 180, take away 74. And that is, so 10 take away 4 is 6. 7 take away 7 is nothing. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So it's 106. So 106 degrees plus 74 degrees makes 180 degrees. So X must be 106. Here's another example. This time the straight line is split into three parts, but the same rule applies. Angles on a straight line must add up to 180. So let's find the missing angle. If we do 81 plus 42, So that is 123 degrees. So 81 and 42 make 123. So if we do 180, take away 123, we can find out what is missing. So 10 take away 3 is 7. 7 take away 2 is 5. And 1 take away 1 is nothing. So 57 degrees is missing. So X is 57 degrees. 81, 57 and 42 add up to 180. And again, one for you to try. So at the moment we've got 58 and 63. So 58 plus 63. 8 plus 3 is 11, and 5 plus 6 plus the 1 we've carried over makes 12. So 58 and 63 add up to 121. So we need all three of these angles to add up to 180. So 180 take away 121. 10 take away 1 is 9. 7 take away 2 is 5, and 1 take away 1 is nothing, so x must be 59 degrees. 59 plus 58 plus 63 equals 180, and angles on a straight line always add up to 180. Angles around the point, angles in a complete circle, always add up to 360 degrees. So the whole way round is 360 degrees. And this square here means it's a right angle and a right angle is 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. So we need all three of these angles to add up to 360 degrees so we can find the missing angle. So 145 plus 90, so 5 plus 0 is 5, 
4 plus 9 is 13. So carry 1 over into the hundreds. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we've got 235 degrees. What's missing from 360? So 360, take away 360, take away 235. So we can't do, or we don't want to do 0, take away 5. So we'll take one of the 10s, which would be worth 10 in the 1s. 10 take away 5 is 5. 5 take away 3 is 2. And 3 take away 2 is 1. So x must be 125 degrees. 125 plus 145 plus 90 makes 360 degrees. And angles around the point always add up to 360 degrees. Okay, one for you to try here. So give this a go. So again, we've got a missing angle and we know all three around the point must add up to 360. So we've got 117 and 113 at the moment. So if we add them up, so the ones seven plus three, which is 10, and then the tens is now one plus one plus one, which is three, and the hundreds, one plus one is two. So we've got 230, 360, take away 230, that's going to be 130. So X must be 130 degrees. Angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we can find a missing angle in a triangle if we know the other two angles. So here we've got 42 and 115 that we know. So 115 plus 42. So the 1's 5 plus 2 is 7. The 10's 1 plus 4 is 5. And the 100's we've got 1. So we've got 157 degrees so far. What's missing from 180? So we don't want to do 0 take away 7. So we'll take off one of the 10s and add it to the 1s. 10 take away 7 is 3. 7 take away 5 is 2. 1 take away 1 is nothing. So we've got 23 degrees left. So X must be 23 degrees. The missing angle is 23 degrees. And one for you to try. So give this a go. So this time we've got a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So far we've got 90 and 35. So 90 plus 35 is 125. So we've got 125 degrees. We need 180. So what's missing? So 10 take away 5 is 5, 7 take away 2 is 5, and 1 take away 1 is nothing. So X, our missing angle, is 55 degrees. Here we have an isosceles triangle. So we can tell that this is an isosceles triangle because we've got these lines, and they mean equal. So these two lengths are equal, and in an isosceles triangle, two lengths are equal, and the other one is called the base. So this red line here is the base of an isosceles triangle, and the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are always equal. So this 64 here, and this will also be 64. So the angles at the base of an isosceles triangle 
are equal. So what do we have here? We've got 64 plus 64. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 6 plus 6 is 12. So we've got 128. We've got 128 degrees so far. What's missing? So 180 take away 128. We take one of the tens and add it to the ones. 10 take away 8 is 2. 7 take away 2 is 5. 1 take away 1 is nothing. So the missing angle is 52 degrees because the angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. Okay, one for you to try. Find the size of angle X. So this time we have an isosceles triangle. We've got two lengths the same. The other length is called the base and the two angles at the base are equal. So that unknown angle, the angle we don't know, is what we've got two of. So if we take 32 away from 180, we can see what both of these angles have to add up to. So again, we'll take one of the tens and add it to the ones. 10 take away two is eight. Seven take away three is four. And one take away nothing is one. So both of these two missing angles, they're the same and they add up to 148. So we need to half 148, divide it by two. And half of 140 is 70. Half of eight is four. So we've got 74 degrees. So X must be 74 degrees. We'll have 74 degrees, another 74 degrees, and 32 to make 180. Okay, to finish up, we've got two questions. So give these a go. In the first question, we've got angles around the point. Angles around the point always add up to 360 degrees. We've got a right angle here. So this is 90. So let's see what we've got so far. We've got 113 plus 90. So the ones, three plus zero is three. In the tens, one plus nine is 10. So zero in the tens, carry one over. So the hundred is one plus one, which is two. So we've got 203 degrees so far. So what's missing? It needs to add up to 360. So 360 take away 203. We'll take one off the tens, add it onto the ones. So 10 take away three is seven. Five take away nothing is five. And three take away one is one. Three take away two is one. So 157 is what is missing. So the missing angle is 157 degrees. Question two, we have an isosceles triangle. So we've got two equal sides marked with the, the lines and the other side is called the base. And the angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. So these two angles must be equal. And angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we do 180 take away 48, we can see what the two red angles have to add up to. 10 take away 8 is 2. 7 take away 4 is 3. 1 take away nothing is 1. So the two red angles have to add up to 132. So if we half 132, how many times does 2 go into 1? None. Carry 1 over. How many times does 2 go into 13? That's 6 with 1 left over. And how many times does 2 go into 12? 6. 
So both of these angles are going to be 66 degrees. And then how can we find X? Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So X and 66 are on a straight line. So these two angles here have to add up to 180 because they make a straight line. So 180 take away 66. 10 take away 6 is 4. 7 take away 6 is 1. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So X is 114 degrees. Our missing angle, 114 degrees.